Pileup closes I-25, and a sheriff's deputy guilty of bribery. All this and more coming up, it's 12.30, this is Michael Martin with KEPC News. An eight-car pileup shut down southbound I-25 by Northgate exit. Emergency services airlifted one woman from the scene whose car had been crushed between two semis. It is believed that the driver had slowed down to look at another accident in the northbound side of the interstate. I-25 has reopened one lane, and we will keep you updated with the details. In other local news, Sheriff Deputy Stephen Diagostino pleaded guilty to the charges of bribery and contraband. Diagostino was caught trying to bring drugs into El Paso County Jailhouse on his shift. His charges leave him facing four to eight years in prison. In national news, a suburb in Madison, Wisconsin has seen police responding to reports of an active shooter. Police responded at about 10.30 a.m. local time to the reports of the possible shooter. Eyewitnesses report up to 50 police vehicles in the area and have reported one ambulance leaving the scene. No further details have been released at this time. In international news, meetings in Korea have seen breakthroughs in the negotiations between North and South Korea regarding the use and keeping of nuclear weapons. President Trump applauded these efforts and remains hopeful for more future talks with Korea. We had uh, very good news from North Korea, South Korea. Uh, they met and uh, we had some great responses. Uh, we're making tremendous progress with respect to North Korea. South Korean President Moo Jae-in also showed hopes of the shuttering of North Korea's main nuclear facilities in exchange for currently unspecified action from the United States. Many hope that this will reopen talks between the North and Washington. Finally, the kids and their families inside Children's Hospital Colorado got to witness something very special on Tuesday. Aurora SWAT team members conducted training outside, around, and on the hospital dressed as superheroes. From Spider-Man to Batman, the officers both entertained and grew within their skill sets. Indian summer rolls on for the springs. Full look at your forecast coming up on KEPC. Multimedia graphic design is a fully interactive classroom experience. Start off this experience with a brief history of art. You have to learn to crawl before you can walk, which means learn the basics before you take on something harder. For example, an introduction to multimedia, or how about production design, or design and color, Photoshop 1, Web Design 1, Illustrator 1, those are just a few to choose from. Go to ppcc.edu for more information. Pikes Peak Community College, it's your life, make it count. Now we'll look at your KEPC weather. Today's slightly cloudy and very hot, reaching a high of 87. Tonight, cool, low of 50. And tomorrow, cooler than today, high of 80. That's KEPC News. I'm Michael Martin. Now back to Maximum Variety on 89.7 KEPC.